So. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's back, y'all. What it do? Don't call it a comeback. I never left. So. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, what are y'all weirdos doing in the basement? <laughs> is that the question? Well, I've I, packed I away offered... the void glass. You yeah, did. You put it away, but you also have a uh, a not gnome who may open boxes. Unless you put them too high up. But he, he's, he's been proven to jump. It's in my bag now. The box is in my bag. It's with me. This is something that I'm going to be carrying with me because I don't understand it. And I don't want someone randomly like Nero walking down into the dungeon. Not that Nero would ever come no. down here. He's the only other one who sometimes goes into the dungeon is Alyssa. And yeah. that's only when it's clean enough to clean. If that makes sense. No, totally. Um, you know how you're, whenever your mom was like, hey, we have cleaners coming. Uh, we need to clean the house. That's... That's what that is. It's uh, we need it the to pre clean, clean. clean. Right. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that. We actually have like a valley cleaning service that we pay for for our apartment complex. The only reason I haven't done yet is because it's too cluttered right now for me. Right, <laughs> exactly, totally. <laughs> my my mom was gifted like a cleaning service for a little mm -hmm. while when we when like when I was younger, and she was like, "All right, so all of the kids, you guys have to clean the house first before we can get this cleaning service." <laughs> That's <laughs> the whitest shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very totally. Much so. Um, but I and am no problems. It, Yuna, boss, there. Back at. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <Boss>. Is. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, looking good today. <laughs> Apparently, I'm uh, a little bit more dashing today than expected. <laughs> All right, I. Uh, but you mentioned. Uh, <laughs> Being able to encode thoughts. I feel that the brain is more interesting to me right now. By more interesting, I simply mean less dangerous. Um. I agree. And also, I think it, there's still a connection between the soul and the mind. Right. We know that elithids communicate primarily telepathically. I don't know if it's necessarily the mind or the soul that grants that ability. What is connected? But we have both. So we could just have both, and we, we wrap the little thought strand around both of them and see what happens. This sounds like fun. It does. All I'm right. going to go get my soul. Come back down. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, I'm going to give Rakath the ability to encode his thoughts. Yeah. Right? He's going to make a ribbon of whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. His first contact to be. <laughs> yeah, first contact. <laughs> then I'm going to tie the ribbon around the soul and the brain, and cast encode thoughts on the brain and the soul. And see what okay. happens. Okay. Uh, what are you going to encode in, uh, Mr. Raka, who I nearly also called Voss? <laughs> <laughs> it's because Josiah and I look so much alike, right? That's what it is. Yeah. We're just both Canadian. That's the problem. Uh... <laughs> So I only see nationality. I see nothing yeah. else. It's just a giant <laughs> red and white screen when you look at us. We're just Maple Leafs to everybody. Uh, but not Toronto. Uh, so I think uh, the first message is going to be... Uh, oh, God, see, this is the thing. I don't even know who I'm directing this to, technically. The Void. But it's not even, right? Because, like, th technically speaking, we're, this is we're to talking... The illithid. This is the, the illithid brain that I've actually had conversations with in the past, technically. Like through... turning into a Simon and Garfunkel song real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that settles it. The first message is, hello, darkness, my old friend. How are you doing? <laughs> the... When you do this whole process, which would look very awesome and arcanary as you have kind of things laid out on the table and you know casting a spell like between the mm. jar of brain and uh, soul. Uh, or if you're sitting there watching with uh, detect magic just 
fascinated at this whole thing. <laughs> Uh, there actually, you do see sort of a spark of of uh, bluish magic uh, through the detect magic, but all of you see it as well, kind of from inside the Illithid brain. Um, the tight swirls and bunches of brain matter that it has tighter than a regular brain, uh, sort of from deep within there. And the ribbon that kind of sprays out of the, the connection um, is just a garbled mess of words. Um, that don't really seem to make sense. Um, it's just a... That, it, it keeps coming until the spell basically fades away. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it <laughs> It's just like a, like a long, like, ribbon, just like, mm -hmm. being prepared. And like I kind of imagine this ribbon doesn't necessarily obey the laws of physics, so it's just kind of, like, out into the air. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, the ribbon would be the, the kind of the writing on it, would be a very deep blue um that kind of glows quite strongly um if you want to read it you can give me an, uh, an insight check sure um i'm I'll assuming help you with it okay i'm assuming it is in deep speak as well correct uh, not really uh this hmm. is not in a language this is just thought thoughts right yeah so advantage then on the check as you yes. guys helping me read the arcana yes uh this Ooh. seems to be uh kind of the theory that a brain in its death throes experiences everything hmm. uh that this is kind of what's happening it's kind of just the the brain firing um whether or not in connection to the soul, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, and it's just kind of a series of thoughts. The thing with it being an Illithid's thoughts is that they're not emotional, really. Um, uh, it's a lot of uh, experiences and, and the thoughts are much more based on logic. But they're not necessarily things that, that happened. Um... It's just almost like blur blursts of ideas that don't necessarily relate to things in the real world. All of they do have a, a strand together in that there's a lot of cold, a lot of ice, a lot of darkness in them. Um, whatever light is mentioned is fleeting. Um, but the, you are not having an intelligent conversation with this dead thing. Um, it doesn't seem like the connection is, is there well enough. Ooh. I propose that we allow the soul and the brain to become more reacquainted with one another and then try this again at a future date. And I will open up the jar and plop the soul inside and then seal it and see what happens. Like just... Worst case scenario, I throw this into the brew and we see what comes of it. Hmm. I wonder if mixing them together would work. Hmm. Perhaps the death throes happen because the soul is escaping the body, perhaps? If they were together, things would be more coherent. Perhaps. I'll shake it. <laughs> I don't think that's how you make it more together, but... Hmm. Well, certainly, let's try this again soon. Hmm. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I'm going to keep the brain and the... Uh, soul on me then because again this is just something that i don't trust other people to have okay um, i'm gonna also <laughs> use some of the leather the various leather straps that i have around this dungeon for no apparent reason whatsoever uh-huh um, uh-huh uh to lock the lid down in place essentially of the jar just to make sure it's secure so that it can't just like fall and tumble out okay <laughs> yeah All right, that's a day of activity. Mm. Uh, science. Uh, so, why don't we take a next a new morning with new portents? And is this a morning where Voss shows up at the establishment because he's been out and about? Yes. That's up to yeah. you. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Not yet! The portents I, aren't good enough! They're not good enough, but I will go deliver my potions with that. Yeah. Of course. 
<laughs> on the one hand, the longer we put off you gambling, the more money you make to double. On the <laughs> other hand. But I'm also concerned that if we take too long with this quest, we'll lose out on the payment for that. Yeah. Agreed. Right? I think that's But here we give it one more day? Yeah. And then we can just we can, wait. We can always gamble another time if need be, but, you know. True. Let's uh, let's give it one more day of portents and then we'll. I don't know what does Voss think of you guys just sitting around. Well, I'm not sitting. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm trying to brew it. more void glass. Yeah. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I would probably return like on this day. I don't know. Would I be done setting up what I've been doing? Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I would be back this day. It's been a week and a half, I think. Right. Okay. That. Cool. Cue montage of me carrying around stacks of wood and shit. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, not that I montage would... yet. <laughs> Different montage. Not, it's not that montage yet. Um, yeah, I would be back at the house. Like, just literally when you get up in the morning, you would just see me in my, like, area just meditating. Boss is home. I have a present. You have a I have a present. present. I have a present. And I'm going to hand you a box. <laughs> how, big is, how big of a box are we talking here? This big? That's a pretty big box. That's, That's a, a pretty big sizable box. box. Bigger yeah. than a juice box. Yeah. <laughs> is it bigger than a bread box? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, you can get some pretty big bread boxes if you really eat a lot of bread, I suppose. Like a sourdough bread box? Anyways. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I just like get up from my meditation and walk over and just take the box. Like, what is this for? You have to open it. You know, I understand the premise of the <laughs> gift. I simply don't understand what the occasion is. It's going to help you kill things better. <laughs> <laughs> just the juxtaposition of that statement and this like finely wrapped gift box it's like okay just i open the box okay so it's a new dragon mask it is black it has two gleaming soul gems in the eyeball sockets which okay. you can magically still see through with magic okay <laughs> and it's going to give you plus two to attack and plus two to damage on a single target. Oh, shit. It is a bonus action to switch targets. Or you can switch targets for free if that target is killed. Gotcha. I'll, just, I'll send that in the Discord. Like Hunter's Mark rules. It's like a little yeah. Babu Hunter's Mark. Like a little Babu. Yeah, this is like... Like Hunter's Mark Jr. already exists, so this is like <laughs> Hunter's Mark Jr. Jr. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's super it, cool. Yeah. Outside it does not take character, um, I'm like hyped about this because this is cool as fuck. <laughs> um Ian is gonna beam. <laughs> I'll just like gonna pick it up and inspect it. Be like, you know, this is a very lovely, lovely gift. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I will be sure to wear it with pride. That one, and I point to the left soul gem, is the one that you gave me. Well, under some circumstances, you could say it's rude to return a gift, but given what you've done with it, I would say thank you. I'm gonna try it on. I'm assuming it fits. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... If you were extra uh, acute, you might notice that it's the Rainbow Dragon mask painted black. So it's kind of frilly, <laughs> but it's like black frills. <laughs> right. awesome. yeah. So it ends up being That's much cool. more of a Chinese dragon uh, uh, design awesome. than the That's more funny. traditional like, dragon mask you had. Yeah. That's sweet. That's actually awesome. Um, well, that's cool. That old dragon mask can live on the armor stand as a yeah, as a piece of art, I guess. You never know if you need a backup mask. 
You never, never know. know if you need to spook Nero as he's walking through the halls. Yeah, he's... make him drop something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're gonna get whipped for that. <laughs> so what have you been up to these past weeks? We haven't seen you. Oh, speaking of that, I do require a small favor, although I'm remiss to ask anything of you, especially considering that you just gave me such a lovely gift. But you fear it's financial in nature. Only about 50 gold should be more than enough to cover it. Okay. Um, and just so you know, Ollie, what I intend to do with this is use it to buy weapons. Mm -hmm. Like, basic swords, katanas, nodachis, pikes. I get what you. is it for? Um, it's probably easier if I just show you. Hmm. And then I'll just kind of walk towards the front door and then turn and be like, Well, come along then. <laughs> Ah, you're not going to bring any more friends. Okay. Just a drow Possibly only have adventure. Any more friends. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. It's oh, Yuna man. and Rose friends the show. Yuna <laughs> um, is allowed to be friends with everyone, but everyone is only allowed to be friends with Yuna. <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> the like house. It's, it's, you're right. Roger does. <laughs> literally do. Um, this is actually something, though, that I feel like Rackath would... I need to show him as well. Where is Rackath, anyways? Is he around? Yeah, he's talking to a brain. I see. <laughs> <laughs> and some glass. Oh, that... And some glass. Okay, understood. And I'll just go stand at the top of the stairs to the dungeon and just, like, yell down, Rackath! Yes! Come here for a second. <laughs> Assuming you have a moment free from your brain and glass. Let me show you the glass, Vost. You'd find it fascinating. <laughs> I just look to you what? and say, I dup, feel dup, like dup, dup, dup. that is very untrue, but let's... <laughs> Guys, show the, show the box and I'm just like, without you, just show it like I'm presenting a very cool thing. Which I am, Voss. Look into it. I have seen glass before. This is not glass. Well, it is. It's void glass. I look into it. It's so, uh, something <laughs> I don't know if Voss would notice, just as he is how he is, is that when you look into it, you kind of see a star field. To you, mm -hmm. you might think it's glittery glass, right? Which exists. I mean, um, the easiest it's way, it's, it's really hit or miss with boss these days. Let's roll that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it looks like fancy glass. That's... It's also in a bunch of broken shards, so it's worthless. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a bunch of pretty broken glass. That's, uh, what, what was it before it broke? Ah, here, let me show you. I'm going to take a piece, and I'm going to grab Voss's hand. And I'm gonna prick his finger with the with the glass. It kind of gives you a uh, stinging headache, even though it was your finger that get got prung. Hmm. <laughs> Hang on. Pricked. Pricked. That reaction was both in and out of character, by the way. <laughs> um, you know what I meant. I win. <laughs> yep. Prong. Um, that's very peculiar. Yes. So, do you remember that brain with the beak and the... Yes, the mind hawk. Yes. Well, I brewed it down in a barrel, right? Distilled it, if you will. Uh, broke it down into its base components, and this is what it made. Hmm. This isn't just sparkly glass. That's what I thought at first as well. Um, but rather, this is a window. Look at how the light shines through it. It's not normal. It's not of this world, Voss. Look at that. And also, headaches. Weird, right? 
Extremely. Yes, anyways, you had something you wanted to show me. Also, nice helmet. Oh, thank you. And I like didn't even really realize I was still wearing it. Just like <laughs> yeah. I like see so clearly through this one. So it just like it's like when I you forget you're off. wearing your glasses and you're like, yeah, exactly. My glasses? Like this was a gift from Lady Nivara. It's quite nice, is it not? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Lean over to the side and give you a two thumbs up with like a stupid big grin. <laughs> um. I'll return the gesture, like so. Like Voss can clearly see it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> is that thieves can't? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. It's yes. It's, that means good job. <laughs> it's Voss can't. Um, <laughs> hey yo. I will. Uh, yeah. Uh. As I said to you now, upstairs, it is probably something easier shown than told. Come with me. I'll grab Ropey on the way to be good part like, of party adventures. This is one of those instances where just, uh, yeah, I was about to bring Ropey to cash or whatever. Um, <laughs> like, like physically grab him. Yeah, take him from what he's doing. Ropey, and... <laughs> whenever you like pick him up while he's in the middle of something, he just accepts it and just start, continues to tink it in his hands. He's like he's <laughs> like a cat that doesn't necessarily like to be picked up, but understands that that it happens. Is my fate. Is a part of <laughs> yeah. life. Like my cat. Sometimes, sometimes it just be that way. Sometimes um, it is. As as we're walking, I'll. Like, you could probably notice, I think Yuna especially would probably notice this. This is probably the first time you've seen any level of emotion out of Boss that isn't just, like, deadpan. <laughs> like, he seems vaguely excited. Like, he might be walking a little bit faster than he normally does. That's so um, exciting! And, yeah, as we're just kind of walking... I'm actually going in the same direction that we went on the first adventure that we went on. Um, when you trapped that dude's soul in that jam. Mm -hmm. as of earlier. And I'll just be explaining, like, well, Rakath, when you explained to me the other day that you had a desire to use the blade, and I'll literally hand you the other Nodachi that I've just been carrying around this time <clears> for some reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it got me thinking. We don't have a proper place to practice such things. I mean, meditation is all good and fine, but to actually become acquainted with a sword, you need a proper place for study, meditation, and practice, of course. And like literally, as we're saying this, you just kind of come around the corner to what was once the house that your brother was trying to sell, <laughs> Jerico. Mm -hmm. um, Kim's house. They'll just be like the house is like fixed up, like where there was like holes and stuff. It's just kind of like been fixed, maybe not by a carpenter, but it's been well patched put up. Together. Yeah, it's been patched up for sure. Um, Got rid of all the overgrown plants. Yeah. The nice thing about this house is that um, not uh, like your house doesn't do this, but this house basically sits on an elevated courtyard away from the street. So it actually has a bit of outdoor space um, uh, as well as that. Yeah, and uh, as we are walking up... The other thing you would see, I'm just checking my notes real quick. Um, literally, like, I don't know if I would have done this. I mean, yeah, I actually, you know what? I totally would have done this myself because I'm proficient with calligraphy tools and I have all the stuff to do it. Would literally just be a sign that just says the House of Dusk written above the entryway to this place. I just kind of walk in and, like, spread his arms wide as uh, someone does to, like, look around and be like... We have a dojo now. That's wonderful, Voss. Rakath is going to grab Voss by the shoulders and lift him up. <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> well done, Voss! 
and then put him back down. <laughs> good idea. That's the only input. Right. In any case, as each of you has your own space to refine and practice what it is that you do, I felt it was only appropriate that I construct a space where I could refine and better what I do and pass some of that knowledge along, not only just to you, Rakath, but to any others who may seek to elevate themselves for price, of course. Of course. Oh. Yuna, do you remember how, however many days ago that was, when we were talking about the drug problem mm -hmm. and how it might not be a bad idea to, uh, was it the drug problem or the drug solution? The solution. Okay. <laughs> it might not be a bad idea to return the favor to the uh, people of the overworld who have decided to plague themselves upon us. Mm -hmm. I think it starts here. Would I not grow the drugs in my garden? Oh no, that, yes. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> support. We need support. We need people. We need bodies. We need followers, he'll say as he turns to Voss with yeah. probably the most sinister grin you've ever seen on Rackass face, <laughs> which is something in and of itself. And at that, Voss would literally just be kind of standing there with his arms folded and would just literally like look over to the side and there would be a fairly large like stone slab essentially that literally just in very fine like kind of draw characters because i mean i'm not sure exactly how drow is written but i imagine it's very much like character based does that make sense uh, uh um Elvish is, first of all, written right to left. I actually have a document on how Elvish is written. Okay. Um, it, but it's 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 uh, characters for letters, but there's also an accent system for pitch. Right. So, More this, so what language. should be on this tablet, literally, like, carved into it, literally written in stone, and also filled in with ink to make it look nice. Of course, you got to. Of course. Um, would just be like essentially what would be a code like a code of ethics almost um a creed a creed that's the word i was looking for would be a creed and it would just kind of be the large symbol one of them signifying brotherhood which i imagine the elvish word for it would really be more like into sisterhood but for drow yes yeah drow, and then like Brotherhood, rectitude, honor, and loyalty with, like, in, like, more detail about what that exactly <clears throat> is kind of under it. Yeah, um, I get you. And then I would just look back to Rakath and just say, my thoughts exactly. <clears throat> the, there are many within these walls of the city that have no place, no house, that would seek to elevate themselves and do not have the means to do so. And I intend to provide them with those means. These people, unfortunately, typically do not have much gold to spend. But um, most times you will find that they are lacking in gold they make up for in spirit. And as resource. Exactly. An act of mercy, then. You took the words right out of my mouth. May I make a recommendation? By all means. Do you remember the man whose arm you took? <laughs> I knew you were going to uh, say that. <laughs> Who? The god whose arm landed this Nodashi in your possession. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. 
I do. Invite him first, as an opportunity to learn. He has already paid the price. <laughs> uh, if he wants to prove his worth, I'd say he's done, at the very least, an act of penance. And this is something you can actually help me with, Rackhath, is as far as spreading word of this place goes. One thought I had is I would entreat Jericho to tell all of his friends in other noble courts and houses of the questionable new school in town that has been teaching all manner of low lives and those without honor. And I'm sure word of such a place would eventually reach the ears of the slaves who overhear everything that gets passed <clears throat> through those walls, which might eventually reach the type of people that I could shape into something. I would also ask that when we train, we do it outside in the courtyard for all in this place to see, hear, let them know that there is life in these walls once more. And lastly, as and I kind of look to Yuna, people who sometimes spend money and time, I shouldn't say you spend money, but take money from others in places of <laughs> ill repute. Those places are often filled with the types of people that hold potential to be candidates. And if not candidates, at the very least, stepping stones for those who would. Simply, I am asking that you sow rumors in such places. Oh, I could do that. We can both do that. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a bit of a joint specialty of ours, really. Hmm. So when do classes start? Because we have to go to a strip club. That's true. We do have to go to a strip club. We do? Yes. <laughs> Trust me, it, if it weren't for business, I wouldn't be going. Doesn't interest so, me at all. It would be a good place to talk rumors and such, but a strip club. We're going to fill boss in. <laughs> at this point in time. Which have you been watching, Josiah? Do we actually need to fill? Yeah, you yeah, no, I've been watching. This okay, <laughs> I know what the plan is. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Before we do that, I would like to go place an order with the blacksmith, if that is okay. Mm -hmm. It seems reasonable. Very well. I don't know where the strip. Where is this strip club? Oh, I'll, I'll give you that. You can, like, kind of, like, like, up there. Yeah, it's pretty close by. <laughs> yeah. That like way. The on the way. <laughs> you, all, if you were going back to House Duresco, uh, du Beskos. Beskos, you know uh, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, Erin er always seeds mispronunciations in my mind. Um, <laughs> That's why the Inception uh, spell has to come through Erin. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, if your house faced the other way, your windows would look out over this herbalist district because it's quite pretty to look at. Um, okay, gotcha. And it's kind of, you know, kind of in between there. In, uh, okay. So, street. Yeah. Um, I guess we can go to the next. Well, what time of day is it? Is it an appropriate time to go to a strip club? <laughs> there is no time in Narashiro. It's always appropriate. Right. The city never that shuts. Never sleeps. Oh, yeah. It's always appropriate in someone's cycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the question it's, that Aaron is asking is, are the good strippers on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Yuna would know that. It's, it's um, nearing the end of someone's cycle. She though. dug into J Draco's <laughs> mind. <laughs> Not that you, uh, can... yeah, no, she stopped, she stopped early enough. <laughs> At the password. There. You uh, I... can go to the blacksmith. He uh, would kind of 
stop what he was doing, kind of turn slightly towards you and say, I do not appreciate rabble in my workplace. They can wait outside. Hello, yeah. I'm Yuna. I don't think we've been introduced. I will literally just turn to Rakath and Rofi and just say, this will only take a moment. <laughs> uh, I, I very audibly turn to, to Rakath. He's very rude. He won't let me work for him. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Boss, would you mind getting this appraised while you're in there? I'm going to hand him Tanuma's longsword. Certainly. Thank you. Um, so yeah, as we go in... Let me introduce um, himself politely to Yuna. Yeah. Um, I'll just say to him... I am seeking to place an order with you. Not the one that we spoke of just yet. I am still accruing funds for that. But one that I'm sure you'll still find worth at least the time of your apprentice. I... I'm seeking to have several katanas, nodachis, yes. some pipe basic tools, basic, basic weapons. They will be used primarily for training purposes and may eventually see combat. I'm sure they will be of excellent quality, but something you could possibly pass on to your friends to keep working with you. He nods and is. Uh, you can, you know, kind of get your miscellaneous tools from here. Um, now that you've started up, that's just going to be part of the workplace expenses, which at some point I may or may not give you a document of that. Okay, um, that's cool. Basically, it's going to be expenses when you're not actually manually working there because uh, yeah. if you're not there for the week, then nothing's yeah. going to happen right now until you get staff. I will um, explain to him just kind of the location of where to find it and just say that there is a new dojo I have just opened. The House of Dusk. It is in the Harbalist District. The former location of House Avenue. You cannot miss it. He will uh, listen and not say really anything one way or the other. Yeah. As uh, <laughs> an old blacksmith man does, apparently. Yep, and, and that's kind of how it all set up. I'll just nod to him and go to turn. Literally, as I turn around, I'll, I'll, like, I'll grab his arm midway. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab Boss's arm. Like, like, I would also like to discuss armor for my samurai. He has a uh, deal with me when he has the correct income to afford. Right. I would That's be willing to put half down now for you to start the process. And then we could pay the rest of it once completed. Unfortunately, from raw materials alone, that is not how this works. Hmm. Very well. I will kind of give you now a slight nod and say, well, thank you for trying. And go over to me and say, one other. That's okay. We'll just go elsewhere. One other quick thing. I had to ask, and I'll produce that sword from Tanuma and just he say- He looks visibly disgusted. At the sword? The sword. Um, it's an, it's an Arcana Tech hodgepodge mechanical sword, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, totally. And he says, he actually will take it from you and say, well, this is suitable only to melt it down. Someone has turned uh, parts into something that resembles a blade or a mockery of such. You are very judgmental and not very useful. And you are music. young and know nothing at all, and that is your place in life for now. Being judgmental I... does have its uses sometimes. I'm going to detect thoughts, and I'm going to go deeper and learn his whole history and everything about his life. Wow! <laughs> He's gonna, he's gonna resist that. Yeah. Uh, he's I'm actually gonna... Should... Okay, that's fine. He's gonna pass. Uh, and, um... He's gonna stand up. Quite slowly. Graceful. Uh, despite uh, an old frame. Uh, place his hands in front of him. And bow. 
and will say, Lady Univara of House de Vescos. I would recommend that when dealing with artisans in the future, you only entertain negotiations when you are knowledgeable and such practices. For your noble birth will not win you every argument. I would recommend in the future, Mr. Nor, that you discuss work necessary to be done with me alone. <laughs> I'm just going to rip the knowledge from your mind and create my own stuff next time. Have a good day. I'll just hand the sword back to you and I'm just say, <laughs> please take this to <laughs> Rakath. I'm sure he's missing his object. If this isn't a uh, Conatech thing, would I be able to try and figure yeah. out how it works? Absolutely. I, after could. Yuna's outside, I'm just going to give him, again, a respectful bow and just say, I apologize. She is... She is not yet a woman and is only a girl. And despite what the church may tell you, uh, it, wisdom grows into a soul. Well, even the finest blades had to start from the most rigid lump of iron. He will, will nod and will sit back down and continue working. And then I'm, I'm going to dip. Get up on out of her. Dip? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See ya. See ya. Then I'm going to leave. Yeah, I'll again give him a bow. Nothing else needs to be said. And outside. Go back to them playing Traders Run on a box. Yeah. You can't neglect your priestess, Rofi. We've been over this. <laughs> but I it was a trap and you you fell for it, but it still didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> because it wasn't a trap. You thought you were setting a trap, but really I was setting a trap for you. Damn it. <laughs> Raga. Hmm. I hate that person. Find a competitor oh, that we can shoot. endorse. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> What's the matter with him? <clears throat> He's awful. He is merely an elder and a master in his craft, which unfortunately affords him an air of superiority, which he has indeed earned. Even if he does come off as Rigid. Coming out of the knowledge is not mastery. What's his name? Do you have his remember. name? I asked him last time. I do know that, but I don't remember what his name is. Because I also didn't write down his name like a bad, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just looked. I'm like, oh, I didn't write that down. I was kind of sure you'd write it down. His name will oh, be Durasco. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you just don't know his uh, name. And that's fine. It's okay. Rofi needed to find another blacksmith anyway, because he's going to work for someone. <laughs> Voss. What's this man's name? I imagine most people would just call him the old smith, you know? Because he is... Yeah, literally. He is probably 900, right? He's yeah. incredibly old. Like, I will just literally sit a rack out. He is known merely as the swordsmith. Because <laughs> that... his name has past relevance. Right. This is... I understand. That's why they call me Rakath, because as soon as you see my face, you no longer need to know a name. It's just that he's lost. It monster. is very much the same for those who see his craftsmanship. And right. And know it is his and not need know his name. He well, that's good to know. Relevance. He should probably be fairly easy to get knowledge about then. That's relatively simple. Um... Project for another time. Uh, what did he say about my sword? He said that you don't have a sword. Oh, he's incorrect. That's a sword. <laughs> I told you. He's stupid and awful. May I have a look at it? It's, it's quite nice. Wanna... In his eyes, referring to this as a sword would be akin to referring to a sun elf as a being with a conscious thinking mind. Yes, oh, just well, close minded. This is a weapon. Quite a nice oh, one. Oh, we should plant drugs inside of his house. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, um, 
That's I'm not really sure how to idea. respond to that right that now. But... A terrible idea. Hey, Voss, hey, from what I understand, most drow don't believe me to be a person. They don't believe me to have a conscious mind, uh, to have a soul. Um, they think I'm a monster. So, sure. realistically, this sword then, a perfect fit for me in the eyes of a drow. In the eyes of some drow. <laughs> I will teach you to use a real weapon. Well, the ideal is that I'm proficient in many weapons by the time we're done. Indeed. Pretty much anything I can get my hands on, ideally. In a pinch. And from past experience, that is many, many things. And not even limited to things, as it were. Sometimes people. Most times people. Oftentimes people. Let's right. not go most. That's a little bit too much. As this conversation <laughs> lingers, uh, let's actually take a real quick break arena. We'll be back in a few mementos. Good movie, Memento. 